Gulp is an absolutely fantastic bait, but it's got a couple of drawbacks. One of which is, is that a delicious looking bait that looks like this could very easily turn to this rock right here if you don't properly care for your gulp baits. And this rock right here, this is gonna catch you absolutely zero fish. It costs a lot of money. And just look how hard and dried out this thing can get right here. Yeah, that's something else, isn't it? Don't worry about it though. Johnny Fish Lot's here to help. I'm gonna show you tips and tricks on how you can prevent this from happening and how to secure your baits and make sure you have plenty of gulp readily available to catch a fluke, flounder, or whatever other species of fish you're after. Hello again, fish lots. First, right off the bat, these gulp tubs seem very, very awesome because they're filled with liquid. They look awesome. What could go wrong? You put this thing in your tackle box and all of a sudden this liquid is in your tackle box, absolutely rotted the thing through. And all your gulp baits go from this delicious looking guy right here that's gonna catch you plenty of fish to this nasty discolored shrunken rock of what used to be a great bait and an expensive bait to boot. And there you go, fish lots. That's just an example of a piece of a tackle box that I had where the gulp juice leaked all over it. Just take a look at that. It's all nasty, it's black. It just eats away at everything. I don't know what that gulp juice is made out of, but man, that is some nasty, nasty stuff. You just need to be able to keep that juice with the gulp baits and not with the rest of your fishing tackle. All right, and the first step to successfully fishing with gulp is to not trust the gulp containers that the these things come in. So a quick little trick that I had is I only opened up like half of a bag right here, hoping that the juices and stuff would not leak out of it. But as you can see right here, uh, the juice still leaks out of it and these baits literally just become rocks. So don't do that. Don't trust the bag containers. So in addition to drying out just like a brick, the other problem with gulp is it literally ruins everything. So this was a bucktail that I had left with a bunch of gulp that leaked in a cooler of mine and it absolutely destroyed this thing. This thing was once upon a time a shark truce, brilliant, wonderful fish catching bucktail. And now it's this nasty, smelly, gross looking thing. I don't even know if you'd call that a bucktail. But this also used to be a hook. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's buried and molded into one with the deer hair, but that hook is just totally rusted through. It's brown, it's nasty, it's just, rusted and ruined. And so this is what could happen if you don't properly take care of your gulp and that gulp juice leaks all over your tackle box. So you say, well, I mean, it comes in a tub. It's got all this juice in it. How could it possibly leak all over my tackle box? Well, believe you me, fish lots, it happens. Happens all the time. For whatever reason, these gulp containers, when you screw them back on and you open up the container, it just leaks. They leak all over the place. It's a constant. It's going to happen. Now, one way I kind of prevented this in the past was by keeping all my gulp baits in a cooler, just like this. So you could tell, you know, I got my bags in here, they're well preserved. And if something leaked out, at least this cooler would contain the juice. So there'd still be gulp juice in the cooler. And I may get a couple of dried out gulp baits, but it wasn't gonna rot away all my tackle in my tackle box. It wasn't gonna ruin my tackle box. Worst of all, I wasn't gonna get a nasty gulp smell all throughout my house, cause that's not good for anyone. Uh, yeah, go ahead and ask me how I know. Now, if it looks like I got a lot of gulp for fishing, well, you're absolutely right, and I absolutely do. These are just really great baits for freshwater and saltwater fishing, and I can't recommend them enough. However, as you can see, the bags do leak. Even in containment, they leak, and if you leave any lures in there like that unfortunate little bucktail there, you can basically just throw everything away. But that's not really the best solution either. And who wants to have a dried out bait when you go fish? Now, something with gulp, is you don't only need to keep this out on your hook and leave it overnight for it to dry out. When you're moving spots, this stuff will dry out super, super quick. I mean, this will dry out quicker than something that dries out really quickly. 
I don't know. Somebody leave me a comment below of a metaphor I could use for gulp baits. But anyway, these things dry out super quick and you could just be moving spots and all of a sudden you get this on your hook and it's just not gonna catch you anything. So there's a trick here and it's called recharging your gulp baits. Now for people that have been around for a while, especially the fluke fishermen out there, you're gonna know this very well. But for newbies, where people just coming onto the scene of fishing, like this only becomes apparent once you dry out a bunch of baits and ruin a bunch of gear and leak gulp juice all over your tackle boxes. And quite frankly, the solution is super, super easy. It's just getting some plastic containers with some screw-on lids for human consumption. The things I really like to use, this is an M&M container right here. It's brilliant. It's meant to store and keep food for human consumption. Therefore, liquid is not gonna leak out of here. Another good one here is this Utz pretzel rod container you get at ShopRite. I love these things. This is a great container to use if you got a lot of gulp and a lot of gulp juice. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to preserve all my gulp, but first we gotta head outside because again, I don't wanna leak gulp juice all over the house. And all right, so we moved outside to not make a mess of the house. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to fill this thing up. So now the profile of your bait is far more important than any Anything else I think, especially when it comes to gulp fishing. So typically in one jar, I'll keep four inches of gulp and below in one. This will be great. I know this is gonna be my go-to jar for largemouth bass fishing or fishing for catfish bait like crappie or bluegill or something. All my small baits will be in one container, four inches and below. Also, if I'm fluke or flounder fishing again, if you live south of New Jersey, I know that those baits I'm probably gonna look for in the back bays or or creeks or different areas like that. Whereas five inches and above, I'm really gonna look to use to my larger saltwater fish or larger freshwater species. Let's say I'm trying to catch big catfish directly on a gulp. I know I'm gonna use five inches and above, but more so I really use this for fluke and flounder fishing. And I know that my five inches and above are gonna be ideal for ocean fishing and that my four inches and below are gonna be ideal for backwater fishing. So now super simple here, right? You got a tub of gulp and really all you're going to do is, is make sure that you get all that juice with your bait into the container. Now you don't need a whole lot of juice. You just need enough juice there to cover the bait. So long as the baits are covered, you're going to be just fine. Now the question comes up, especially with a lot of new fish lots out there when you have a lot of packages of gulp bait and that is, well, if I just have the package of bait, how can I possibly store this in to a container like this if you know there's just not a whole lot of juice associated in the packages and the answer to that really couldn't be simpler and that's this guy right here this is gulp recharge and what gulp does is they sell gulp juice separate of the baits what you do is, is you have a container like this and you just dump your bait or your hook into the container so that your gulp is recharging in between spots and if you're running low on that gulp juice you could always use this charge. Or if you have a lot of bags like this, what you could do is you could use this recharge into one of these containers that I showed you, either M&Ms or pretzel rods or whatever you might be eating. And that works just perfectly fine. And let me show you that right now. Now, it does not matter what container you're using this out of, whether you're using drums or gulp or whatever, I'm gonna use this whole container. This stuff doesn't go bad, it doesn't leak, it's gonna be perfectly fine, and I'm just gonna use the whole gulp recharge right here, and it's gonna be great. Drop the plastic in there, like a goof. There you go, get that out of there. And now what you can start doing is taking these bags of gulp and just dumping them right into the container. Now again, the color doesn't matter. You see right there, I got white and I got pink in there. Here, let me dig them out for you, you can see a little bit better. There there you go, there's a white nemesis gulp. Excellent bait for, for fluke and flounder. Here you go, here's some pink twister tails right here. Again, great for flounder. But again, five inches and above are gonna go into one container. Four inches and below are gonna go into another container. And that just helps me keep these separate and know exactly what I'm reaching for when I'm fishing. Now, another tip here is any liquid that you do have in the bags, just make sure you get the liquid into your container or your tub, just like that. You see it dripping in there? You know, why waste anything, right? These gulp baits are expensive. Just make sure you're getting all the liquid in the tubs. And I really recommend doing this outside because you can tell I'm kind of getting gulp juice all over the place. So I can't talk enough about this gulp recharge. It just makes 
makes it so easy. I could order this on Amazon. They're, they're inexpensive, relatively far more inexpensive than they are when you just buy the actual Gulp Lures. So this is really great. I really recommend it. There's some more thunder and lightning in case you can't hear it on the audio. And uh, I'm gonna get killed by a lightning bolt here trying to educate everybody on how to preserve your Gulp baits for more flounder fluke or other species of fish. So I hope you're enjoying this, fish lots. And all right, fish lots. so we made it back inside. It's thundering and lightning outside. Just made it in, risking life and limb for all you fish lots out there so that you can catch the most fish possible. And here's our final result. Two fully loaded tubs of delicious gulp bait that's just gonna catch me a ton of ton of fish and it can catch you a ton of fish as well. So a couple of more tips here to really help you utilize this type of system and gulp baits. And the first one of course is don't contaminate these drums or even a plastic bag with salt or fresh water because that'll ruin this delicious little gulp juice in here that's just catnip for those fish. And some more tips here with fishing with Johnny Fish a lot, of course now, is if you don't have a drum like this and you're fishing, let's say you are fishing with bags, just make sure that when you're moving spots that you put your lure inside of the bag and you seal it up. And this way, your lure and your gulp bait is recharging as you're moving locations. Then when you hit your next location, you open up the bag, you take your, your bait out and you start fishing. And that recharge is so essential to get that juice and that scent back into that gulp bait that those fish just really go crazy over. And it's a really good practice to start doing when you're transiting spots or when you're just waiting. Also, keep in mind, if you keep your lure on the hook and you have a long transit to your next spot and it's hot outside, it could just dry up that gulp and you don't want a rock as a bait like I started this video because it's just not gonna catch any fish and it's gonna ruin your hook and ruin your baits. And like I said before, these gulp baits are absolutely phenomenal for fluke or flounder fishing. Now, if you want to learn how to maximize your time out on the water and match these gulp baits with the correct rigging and lures that are really going to catch you a ton of fish and delicious flatty fish as well, go ahead and click on this end card right here where I go deep into exactly the rigs that you need to know to catch you more fish. Thanks for tuning in Fish Lots. I'll see you out there on the water with these delicious, delicious gulp baits.